The sequence of events that led to the murder began about 10 o'clock when the manager of the unemployment exchange in RD, Mr. Sean Boyle, was returning from the bank. Two men ordered him out of the car at gunpoint and took a bag of money. However, they wanted more and forced him inside. The gunmen fired several shots before escaping in Mr. Boyle's car. Sergeant Morrissey, who was an RD for a court case, gave chase. The raiders had changed to a motorcycle but crashed into another car near Talonstown, north of RD. They dropped some of the stolen money at the scene of the crash but ran off with the guardie close on their heels. When the raiders crashed, they apparently took off on foot and ran into the grounds of a nearby house. And it seems that Sergeant Morrissey went in around the fields, perhaps into the avenue, uh, to cut them off, and it was on the avenue that the shooting took place. According to Garda sources, eyewitnesses said Sergeant Morrissey was shot in the legs and that the raiders then challenged him to get up, and when he couldn't, shot him at point-blank range in the face. The alarm was quickly raised and an Air Corps fodder plane joined troops from Dundalk in helping Gardaí to cordon off the area. Detectives armed with submachine guns were rushed to the scene and, as the area was sealed off, they moved in with a big number of uniformed Gardaí to search for the killers. The search went on for about two hours and then two men were spotted. The Gardaí gave chase and the men were detained. At that stage, it wasn't clear if others were involved in the raid and subsequent escape, and troops helped Gardaí in further searches of the surrounding countryside. As the search continued, Garda forensic experts moved in, and the motorcycle used in the escape was covered with plastic sheeting until they could examine it. Meanwhile, the body of Sergeant Morrissey, who was the 12th Garda to be murdered in recent years, was given a preliminary medical examination at the scene of the shooting. The two men who were arrested are stated to be from County Armagh and living in Monaghan. <laughs>